not having the money to invest in four and five figure online masterminds and coaching programs to scale your business is not an excuse for you to just be all willy-nilly with your business out here winging it. No, there are plenty of books that you can read that will help you level up so that you can move the needle in your business. And in this video, I'm going to give you eight book recommendations that you can use to level up this year. I attract money. Wealth is in my reach. I got everything I want and everything I need. I keep my mind open. Abundance overflows. I budget right and I know where all my money goes. I am dead free and money works for me money in my sleep a magnet for prosperity ain't nothing wrong with that what up kingdom builders welcome back to my channel i am ebony yvonne your favorite business coach in these internet streets i coach corporate professionals and first-time entrepreneurs on how to turn their skills their talents and expertise into profitable online businesses welcome to soul struggling this is my internet home where i help you to go from confused to the ethical cash generating boss that we both know you are meant to be and in today's video i am giving you eight books that you can read this year to be a better coach consultant online service provider or a course creator now i told y'all all year long i was going to be dropping gems doing whatever i could to help you to be the best at what you do and a lot of times people will say well like ebony i can't afford to invest into a coaching program i can't afford to join your business incubator i can't afford to take these business retreats and join these masterminds but listen let me tell you what you can afford you can afford some books child there are tons of business books out there marketing books that can actually help you to build your business to be a better coach and just help you to hone your skills even if you say well I can't even afford to buy a book honey the library lets you borrow books all day for free 99 so let's eliminate those excuses so you can really start to move the needle in your business okay so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and jump right in with eight books that you can read this year so that you can be a better coach course creator online service provider and really make it do what it do all right so let's go ahead and start with the first book that you can read and since we are about eliminating all these excuses why you can't go about your business the right way i'm going to start with rick ross's the perfect day to boss up this is the perfect book to read because it's all about how you can basically hustle have that hustle mentality to get what you want legally okay legally but basically this is talking about how you can make the best decisions with the resources that you have at this time and so one thing that rick ross says in this book is like you don't wait till you become a boss to start acting like a boss, right? You have to start talking like a boss, walking like a boss, so that you can actually get to that boss level status. But it starts by you being able to make good business choices, good decisions with the information, with the resources that you have available right now, so that you can start making progress to get to where it is that you wanna be. So let's jump into the second book that you can read this year that will help you level up your business. And this is Crazy Faith by Michael Todd. Listen, if you are a woman of God, man of God like myself, you know that as you build your business, you are going to go on so many ups and downs. You experience so many emotions. And like, while you may be a woman of God, a man of God, all about your faith, we know that your faith level is going to change throughout this journey, right? Sometimes you have that crazy faith where you're believing anything is possible. Sometimes you have that weary faith where it's like, all right, God, like, is you hearing me? Like, what? what's up and so in the book crazy faith michael todd really goes through the different stages of faith the journey of faith at different levels and so this is a great book to read to just keep you motivated and encouraged throughout your entrepreneurial journey and it also is going to give you different tips and strategies that you can actually implement um based on where you are in your level of faith at the time Next up is going to be Super Fans by Pat Flynn. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books to listen to on Audible when it comes to 
giving you tips and strategies on how you can actually grow your audience, but not only on how to build your audience, but how you can build your audience of raving fans and loyal customers. It tells you different things, different strategies that you can actually implement to make your clients and your customers feel warm and fuzzy. Um, make them feel special. So this is definitely a good read to help you build your audience. In this book, it also talks about safety. As your platform grows, as you become well known, you become more of a public figure, um, an Instagram celebrity, so to speak. It tells you things that you can do to make sure that you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your home, so that you don't have crazy fans showing up to your door for a picture, right? So definitely check out this book to grow your audience and also stay safe in the process. Next up is another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books of all time, and that is Believe Bigger by Marshawn Evans Daniel. This book is all about the journey of purpose. It talks about how as you progress through life you experience purpose in different seasons at different levels and it talks about how you can basically embrace that journey so that you know everything kind of has a full circle moment and can come back around i know a lot of people feel like you know you only have one purpose here on earth and like that's your goal is to fulfill that one purpose. But when you read this book, you will actually understand that throughout your lifetime, you have multiple different little mini purposes or mini mountains of purpose journeys along your way that you experience at different times based on where you are in life and the experiences that you have. This is one of my favorite books. I have the physical copy of this book as well as I have it on Audible. It is read in Marshawn's voice, which I love. So sometimes I like to listen to certain chapters because you can hear her emotion. And so I think it really helps to make like the stories and the lessons resonate more when you can hear the actual author reading the voice reading the um book to you so definitely check out believe bigger by marshawn evans so let's keep it rolling next up is going to be building a story brand by donald miller if you are someone who struggles with messaging being able to communicate with your audience then start with this book this book is filled with so many gems of how to really simplify your messaging so you can communicate with your audience you can communicate the value of your products and services and you can really build a connection by the words and messaging that you're using so basically if you are someone who struggles with messaging then you should have read this book like yesterday okay <laughs> So let's move on to the next book, which is Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book is going to be very helpful for you if you are someone who lacks structure and discipline and you want to be able to be more productive, you want to be able to create and implement success habits that are going to help you get to the next level, then this is the book for you. This book basically shares with you how you can start to make small incremental changes that have big changes in it and Impacts over time right so what most people do let's say if you want to lose weight and people will say oh well I'm gonna start losing weight you know get another year I'm gonna start fresh on Monday and I'm gonna go get it and so Monday comes around and then you have so many excuses for why you can't do it then you're like oh I'm gonna start tomorrow Tuesday comes you have more excuses and before you know it it's Saturday and you haven't went to the gym at all so what this book does is it basically shows you how to make Make small incremental changes so instead of you saying like I oh, look I need to go buy me a workout outfit I gotta go get a gym membership I need to get me some gym shoes it's basically making small steps at a time so maybe it's like you know what I gotta go get me new workout clothes I need to get a new pair of gym shoes and so once you have your fit together it's like you know what I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow let me go ahead and pick out my workout outfit now and lay it out by my work stuff so that I know to pick it up so I can stop by the gym on my way home but it basically helps you to take small steps that help you to actually stay on course with your goal and then turn them into habits. So definitely recommend Atomic Habits if you want to be more productive and successful in the new year. The next book recommendation that I have is The Ministry of Branding by Mike Martin. And now this book you won't be able to find on... Um, 
audible but you can find this on amazon and one reason why i love this book is because it is written for churches and like faith-based nonprofits. but it is a biblical approach to marketing and branding it tells you how you can actually start out and um, have a ministry that stands out in the marketplace where you're not being too worldly right and secular you're still able to get your message out in a way that resonates with people but with without it necessarily having that old school church flyer kind of um, vibe going on. So it definitely shows you how you can evolve your branding, your messaging, your marketing by leveraging some of the trending tactics of the traditional marketplace, but it also shows you how you could do it in a way to where it focuses more so on ministry as well. And it comes from like a biblical perspective. So if you are a Christian entrepreneur, if you will have a faith-based business then you're definitely going to want to check out the ministry of branding it is a easy quick read again you can find it on amazon and i promise you it will be worth your investment all right last but not least is the one page marketing plan by alan Dibb. if you are someone who always builds a business plan you have a 50 page marketing plan but you never stick to the plan you never do anything that it says you don't even know why you took the time to write it out in the first place <laughs> this is going to be the book for you because basically this book teaches you how you can simplify your marketing plan it literally is just a one page marketing plan the book walks you through each of the different blocks that you need to fill in but it helps you to really simplify your marketing plan so that you can focus on the things that are going to generate the best impact for your business so basically the concept does kind of tie in the book is it, it kind of leans on Pareto's 80 20 rule right you know where they say like 80 percent of something comes from 20 percent of something I know that's like the most generic explanation, but let's say like um, when it comes to your wardrobe, right? Most people wear 20% of their clothes 80% of the time. So the same concept is kind of applied to your business. And what, what most people do is 80% of their efforts is kind of reflected in 20% of things, but those aren't really the things that you that basically move the needle in your business so what they do is they take the 80 20 rule and change it to something called 64 4 i think it's 64 4 um and basically it teaches you how to focus on the things that are going to really move the needle in your business and by you focusing on those four things it helps to generate you know 64 percent more investments more revenue more whatever in your business so hopefully that is making sense but there you have it these are the eight books that i recommend that you read this year that will help you to be a better entrepreneur a better online service provider a better coach in 2022 let me know down in the comments below this video have you read any of these books already have you noticed that they've had an impact on how you operate your business your day-to-day -day? um if you have any book recommendations that i didn't mention you already know my motto sharing is caring drop your book recommendations down in the comments as well as always thank you so much for stopping by my internet home please remember to like comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell so you'll be the first one to get notified when i upload a brand new video next week in the meantime feel free to check out these two videos right here or this playlist right here if you really about that life child all right i will see y'all next time bye y'all